Hey everyone, this is Rachel, and today I'm here with a new scrapbooking process video. Thanks so much for joining me here, and I hope you enjoy. If you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome, and I would love it if you would become a subscriber. You can also click on the notification bell so you always know when I have a new video up. All right, folks, let's get going. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I am doing my first layout for the Scrapbooking Store's January 2020 kit. It is a kit made up of Winter Farmhouse from Simple Stories, as well as the embellishment upgrade. All of this information is actually in another unboxing video I put up a couple days ago. I will link that in the description box below if you have any interest in seeing that. Also in the description box below will be links to all of the Scrapbooking Store's social media and website, as well as my affiliate links. So if you have any interest in joining Scrapbooking Store's Kit Club or making a single time purchase, you if you could do it through my affiliate link, it does not cost you any more money. It just gives me a little bit of a commission. All right, I'm going to go ahead, get started. I'm going to be working with two four by six photos. Both are landscape. They are of our dog, Archie. We have two dogs. Archie is our more recent dog. My housemate's mother went into assisted living, and so we took over care of her dog, Archie. So I will explain the whole story of why I'm making this layout once we get onto the fast forwarded part. And uh, so we can just go ahead and get started here. All right, folks, one last thing before I go, if you could flip me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. So let's get going. All right, so uh, fair warning, they, uh, there started a thunder and sleeting storm going on outside. So if you hear any background noise, I do apologize. Uh, when I start a new kit or collection or just whenever I'm first touching something, and I say this every time I do this, but what I like to do is just kind of go through everything and pull out the things that speak to me. So what I was thinking of here was this uh, dark green with cream micro polka dots and then the black cream and green plaid. And then I also pull out those two by two cards, but I don't end up using those. And my thought is to do a very masculine, very um, simple patterned page. I'm going to be using that black cardstock. And when I was fanning out the papers, I liked the way this looked angled on top of each other. So what I'm planning on doing is what, what I'm doing right here, as you can see, is once that plaid piece gets to a point where it hidden under the polka dotted piece, I'm going to go ahead and trim that away. And just that way I don't end up um, wasting that paper. It is called the snowed in piece of paper. And then the micro dot one is called falling snow. So these are the two I've got going so far. Once I get these at the angle, I want them. And all I did was ran a line of ATG along the top of each one of those and then just angled it to where it looked good to my eye. And that's where it says falling snow, if you could read that, which you most likely cannot because I did not angle that correctly. Um, once I get that down and I trim off what's left over, I'm trying to get my photos lined up where the top photo right there, which I need to trim off a bit of, um, there was a little error on the, the print, when it was printed, there's a little divot on the side. It's fine. No big deal. Uh, but I'm trying to layer those two photos so it hid the white box that was on the floor. This was when Christmas presents were starting to arrive. And so once I do that, I realize that background is too dark considering how dark my photo is. My subject, the dog Archie, is black. Our carpet has a brown base. So I do end up adding this winter days piece of paper with the uh, mustard yellow and cream 
uh, check on it. And that's a nice bright thing to bring those photos that are in the foreground um, just a nice pop. Now, of course, I accidentally forget. I don't accidentally forget. I forgot that I put glue down and I just put it down to see where I wanted it and realized, yes, you just accidentally glued that down. Isn't that super duper fun? <laughs> Oh me. <laughs> so now that I've got all of my papers where I want them, I'm going to go ahead and add some extra glue just to make sure everything is secure on my cardstock background. And now I'm going to start to embellish. I'm really taken by this bright red house, which we do not have a red house, but I just thought it was really cute. This is at our house. And then I'm also adding that file tab above the upper photo. And the word cozy from that sticker sheet is going to be part of my title. At first I have it on a different line from the rest of the title, which I'm using the Silva, silver alphas from the upgrade embellishment kit. And these are quite small. So I will recommend that if you're going to use them that you use either a pair of small scissors or a pair of tweezers just to help you, especially with things like dots of the eye and stuff like that. So right now my entire title is You Call This Cozy. And then I just went into my stash and grabbed a gray exclamation point from a set that had an exclamation point because the one the exclamation point in the silver would have been too small next to the word cozy and obviously the element sticker sheet did not have an exclamation point so I love that that heart that I just added over on the upper left hand side had the same pattern as the mat for my two photos. And I'm also pulling in that banner piece and that just helps build up that area where the title is and brings um, a point to it. So like it's a very noticeable section as it's part of an embellishment cluster. I'm also going to be bringing in another house scene using the die cuts in the lower left hand side as well as floral elements in each of the embellishment clusters. Because I had that on top of that heart there was a floral embellishment piece. I wanted to bring that to the other two embellishment clusters as well. So now I'm looking through the little phrase and word sticker section of the 12 by 12 and I choose three that I think will go well and at first I have them spread out but I decide they do in fact need to be closer together. From my stash I pull in this little label and that is from Pretty Little Studio. I layer it over the die cut from the upgraded embellishment kit and I'm very happy with the way that is looking. So now I'm just kind of poking through, seeing what I have left. As I said, I did want to add a floral embellishment piece to that um, lower left hand side and I'm just trying to find one that I think will work and it's funny because in all honesty I'm sure any of the ones that were there would work fine but it's just one of those things where what looks good to your eye at the time like I'm debating on having this red one and it wasn't until I tucked it underneath that I thought well maybe it will work but I really liked it once I twisted it and had the red down at the bottom so I'm doing my journaling and this particular layout is about how nutty uh, Mr. Archie is. That's actually him. If you hear the little jingling, he's coming over. He's not happy about the storm. Um, but sometimes rather than sitting on his bed, he will sit directly in front of his bed with his butt touching it. We have no idea why. Um, he doesn't just go one foot further back and lay on his bed, but that's his personal choice. So also in the upgraded embellishment kit, there were the enamel dots that came with the Winter Farmhouse line, and I was super duper excited to get them. They are just gorgeous. I love enamel dots. I just think they are the perfect little touch to add to your layouts. So because I've got both um, the gold in the mustard color and then the gray in both the wood tones of the word cozy and as you can see I did move that up in line with the rest of the things the having it at two different angles was just driving my eyes bonkers um, but the gray in that um, I added both Heidi's Swap color shine in gold and then also in 
tinsel. And then I decided to finish off my layout with these matte gold sequins that are self-adhesive and those are from close to my heart, also from my stash. That, that finishes my layout, doesn't continue it. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. If you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be great. And don't forget, all the links to Scrapbooking Store are in the description box below. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.